Hey, so one of my academy students recently asked a question of how many years back, like how far back in time do I need to go when I'm showing trends, like in a line graph or something. And there are usually three things that I think about here. The first thing is, like, is there some kind of seasonal or cyclical pattern that you've noticed to the activities you have? So if there is some kind of seasonal pattern, then you'd want to go back a couple cycles. And I think this is ex extremely applicable these days where people are looking at the 2020 data points and going, yeah, this isn't going to be right. And this is going to impact what we forecast for part of our trend. So go back a few more cycles than that, okay? Then you'll maybe see if 2021 is, is getting you back on track or showing the same patterns. Okay. The second thing I think about is, was there some kind of intervention? So if there was some sort of program you released or intervention that you put into place, you'd want to see enough time. Usually I like to go like however long it's been since the inter intervention started, I like to go back that much further so that we can see the before and the after and whether there were any changes. The third thing that I think about is always my audience. Like how far back in time do they want to go? I was um, one of the cultural consultants that I've hired to look at my workshop curriculum is Cherokee. And he told me they're always thinking about, you know, seven generations back and seven generations into the future. So when they look at trends over time, he was saying he'd want to see as far back as you can possibly go, preferably seven generations. I don't know if you've got that much data, but those are the things that I think about.